Hello my lovelies, I hope you're doing well. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Paulina and I would love for you to join the family. Click the subscribe button and activate the notification bell. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram where we have a lot of fun. Okay guys, this is a very exciting video as usual. I'm gonna show you the fragrances that really make the men go crazy. These are the fragrances from my collection and the fragrances I've known a long time before. They are very men appealing. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So I'm gonna start with the first one actually, the, the oldest one that was always known to be very men appealing, intoxicating, super sexy, and this is Hypnotic Poison by Dior and I have the Eau de Toilette version which is quite as strong as the Eau de Parfum, it's just less masculine because the Eau de Parfum actually has a lot of licorice and it's darker and it's more unisex so that's for all of you who are wondering what are the differences, this is the difference. I love the Eau de Toilette, this is, um, I don't want to say lighter, it's sweeter and this is basically a strong oriental vanilla with bitter almond, with some licorice. I guess there's some coconut to here, in here. Beautiful, beautiful scent. There's some peach if I'm not mistaken. This is something that I've been rocking a long, long time. And I've always gotten compliments from men. From men. This is super long lasting, quite obnoxious. Uh, it has great projection. And what's amazing about this scent is when, you're, when you spray it on yourself and when you hug someone, that scent actually leans on, on the other person. And I've had this so many times before. And also my cousin wore it and every time she hugged me, I could smell the fragrance on myself as well. So that's Hypnotic Poison by Dior. I really, really like it and I highly recommend it if you wanna get sexy. So that's that. The other one that I wanna show you is actually new to my collection, but every time I wear it, my guy is like, yes. And this is a beautiful, unique scent. And this is something that you would not expect from the bottle, how it looks. So this is Dolce & and what? Dolce & Gabbana, how hard it is to say, Paulina. d and uh, the only one, and this is the intense version in the black bottle. Uh, so this is jasmine, this is coconut, this is woody in the dry down. It has sandalwood to it. Beautiful scent. It has some reminiscence of Alien, but not too much. Everything is basically here covered by the coconut, which is creamy, strong and quite powdery uh, and sweet. So this is a oriental flower scent with a lot of coconut to it and some woody notes in the dry down. Uh, is it complex? Quite, 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 because you know, you have that constant fight of those oriental flowers um, with the uh, coconut and the woody notes that complement everything so nicely. I love it on my skin. It's super sexy. If you want some nice alternative to Alien, this is the one you should try. Don't get me wrong, they're not the same at all, but the vibe is similar, you know? It's nothing to be compared to Alien, but this is good and in my men's opinion this is way sexier so let's go with this one and this is Dolce & Gabbana the only one intense now something for summer summer is almost over but I don't want to hear that I'm moving somewhere when this where the summer is already beginning so I'm gonna have two summers this year and I'm gonna rock this one because this is the sexiest summer scent it's so simple yet so effective <laughs> trust me and this is Dolce & Gabbana light blue or Antons don't even go for eau de toilette the original go for the Antons one this is good good great longevity good projection super 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 citrusy in a very sweet way there's some green apple to it um there's some musk it really leans musky in the dry down i'm just i i'm just gonna spray myself it's a sexy citrus it's sweet very very sexy uh it's refreshing at the same time i love wearing it in the summer it's it's my summer staple guys I even love it in summer nights, you know, when we go out for a party or a beach party, this is perfect. But also great to wear during the day. And I'm gonna promise you that you're gonna get 
compliments out of this. So that's Dolce Gabbana, the only one. No, it's light blue. What's happening to me, guys? I think it's the lights. They make me hot and sweaty, and I'm just not thinking straight. Next one. Okay, uh, something oriental, uh, but not as sharp and potent. This is a very sexy oriental with some honey and some jasmine, and my boyfriend loves it. And this is Elisa Le Parfum. And this is, as I said, um, jasmine, there's also um, orange flower, um, there is some rose honey, which is very interesting, and it really got me on that scent. So yeah. Mm, beautiful uh, very oriental white floral but what makes it interesting is that sweetness of honey it really sold me on that fragrance you know because if it was just you know jasmine orange blossom I wouldn't go for it but that honey rose honey actually makes it so sexy and like so inviting very very good oriental fragrance i know it has very mixed reviews some people say it's super generic to me it's not and i've tried many fragrances so yeah it makes men crazy my boyfriend loves it he even um told you guys that it's super sexy in our video that we posted a while ago together so go ahead and check it out uh, to get some real men's opinion so there we go elisable parfum Another one that I know it's super, super, super man appealing uh, and I have two options for you of a similar vibe fra fragrance and um, the original that I wanted to show you is Versace Cristal Noir Eau de Toilette. Uh, this is Gardenia, then there are some peonies, what else is here? I actually have the notes in here. Uh, cardamom, pepper, ginger, orange flower, Gardenia peony as I said and in the dry down it has amber and sandalwood. It's weird. It's a weird fragrance, but for some reason it's very sexy and men really like it. Go figure. It's quite dark, but at the same time it's quite refreshing. I know there's also a coconut. Uh, I think they changed the, the notes in the Eau de Toilette and they only kept coconut in the Eau de Parfum. To be honest, they, they smell exactly the same. Yeah, I really, really like it. Good projection, good longevity, definitely. And uh, this one is quite obnoxious. So if you want something specifically for date nights, Netflix and chill, if you know what I mean, go for something a little bit more elevated. This is Alaya Nude. And this is the newest Alaya that was released. Uh, I think right after Azadine died, the, the designer, it's very, very similar to Versace. However, it's more refined. Um, it's closer to the skin, but the, the longevity is, is good. Um, it's smoother. It has more woody notes. It's more milky. It, as, as I said, it's just more refined. In my opinion, it's more sophisticated, a little bit more bougie smelling. So if you want something richer, go for this one but either or they're good and they make men go crazy okay now who would i be if i didn't mention this one like my boyfriend would just kill me and this is la belle by jean paul gautier you guys know i've been raving about it since my first video on youtube and the bomb of la belle exploded over the community i feel like this is pear this is vetiver uh, this is vanilla, beautiful, beautiful, fruity, powdery, vanilla, woody fragrance. Uh, it's not very complex, it's quite linear, but for some reason it's so, so exciting, so sexy, very long-lasting, quite obnoxious, super feminine, like over-the-top feminine. I, I love wearing this, I love wearing this. It's a perfect date night scent. Men love it, they really, really do. Uh, so yeah, that's La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Next one I wanna show you is from Pac Robin, and you know I love Olympia, but in my opinion there is a sexier version of Olympia, which is Olympia Intense. Um, this is more ambery, this is way sweeter, this is more uh, salty but sweeter, if you know what I mean. 
there is nothing flowery, aquatic like in original uh, Olympia. They completely got rid of it. It's super, super, super sexy, super edible, uh, but quite oriental at the same time, in my opinion. That amber really, really hits you. So it's a gorgeous date night scent, especially in the summertime. But I feel like it's going to be a gorgeous winter fragrance as well. I've been wearing it in winter for the last two years. And it never failed me. So yeah, that's that. Okay, now I have something newer to my collection and for some reason I didn't really talk about it and I don't know why because it's a super super sexy fragrance. Very very sweet, very inviting. And this is Casablanca by Swiss Arabian. Gorgeous scent guys. This is caramel, uh, grapes, like fruity caramel basically. Mm, I really, really enjoy this fragrance. It leaves a little bit um, musky from time to time in the dry down, but it's beautiful. Some people actually do compare it to La Belle. I would not agree. This is way more caramel. This is vetiver vanilla. This is more powdery. This is more fruity and more caramelly, as I said. So that's that. That's a little bit more... Yeah, as I said, powdery a little bit more um, on an, in its own way, you know? This one is straight up caramel with fruits. I, I really like it. There's apple to it as well. Very interesting fragrance. I love the mixture of those fruits and gourmand notes, which I was a little bit hesitant towards this fragrance, to be honest. But... It turned out to be absolutely fantastic. I also feel like uh, this is a great mixing fragrance. And this is a sex bomb, to be honest. Really, really. This is so, so sexy. Even though it's, you know, so, like, edible and fruity. It's not really. It's quite a deep fragrance. I really, really like it. So that's Casablanca by Swiss Arabian. And now, uh, let's talk about Killian. I saved the best for last. And the fr first fragrance is so man appealing. Like uh, the first time I spray myself with it, my boyfriend was like, yes, this is it. This is amazing. I love it. I just want to eat you. And this is Dangerous License by Killian from their original niche range. And this is peach. This is plum. This is coconut. Lovely fragrance, really, really lovely. Um, I reviewed it recently in my Killian video, so go ahead and check it out if you haven't already. But this is really, really good. Uh, if you are looking for a good, good peach fragrance, very, very sexy, fruity fragrance with some nudie, woody, nudie, oh my god. <laughs> I'm being such a pub. Woody fra fragrance into it, there is. Um, go for this one. I'm still on the fence if it's really worth the price tag, but for the reactions I get from my boyfriend and from my friends, it's good. It's good and every time I wore it, everybody was like, oh my god, this is so, so good and this is that fruity fragrance that nobody can pinpoint what it is, if you know what I mean. It's peach, but it's like more than peach, it's sexy, it's deeper than your normal fruity fragrance. It's really, really good. So that's Dangerous License by Killian. And going through the, the most expensive range from Killian, I need to mention this one because as, as soon as I um, bought it, my boyfriend sniffed it and he was like, is that the fragrance that Rihanna was? And I was like, yeah, why? Damn, she smells like a snack. <laughs> so that's love, don't be shy. By Killian. And this is, as I said before many times, this is a gourmand fragrance that's unlike anything. Anything. This is so, so good. Uh, you get your oriental flowers in here, you get honeysuckle, um, you get neroli. It's really, really potent on those white florals, the jasmine. But then you get those very, very potent gourmand notes like vanilla, caramelly, um, marshmallow. It's very, very potent on marshmallow. So, so, so good. I actually have a full box of it. Um, do they have the notes here? No, but I remember. It's really, really good. 
One of my favorites at the moment, extremely, extremely sexy, very good for any occasion, gorgeous for close encounters, but just don't overspray it. Same with La Belle, don't overspray it if you want those closer encounters. Olympia is definitely not to be oversprayed as well. So yeah, keep that in mind that some are very, very potent. So you, if you're going for that Netflix and chill kind of thing, just remember to not spray too much of them. If you're going for a party, night out, go ahead and shower yourself. But you know, just remember those fragrances are quite in your face. This one is no exception, it's beautiful, it's very, very sophisticated, it does smell like money, it does smell bougie, you know, the price says it all, let's be honest, <sighs> but I love it, I love Love by Killian. And the last one that I want to show you is also from Killian, and that's the last one I want to show you. Uh, after Sunset. I was thinking if I should include Princess because my boyfriend loves it as well. But to me, Princess, even though it is sexy, it's not like showstopper for men. Uh, after Sunset, every time I wear it, my man is like, wow, wow, I love that scent. I love what you're wearing. So this is After Sunset. This is Black Blackcurrant, it's rose. It's very dark, fruity fragrance. It's a musky in the dry down, which actually, I must say, men in general, they love, uh, they either love gourmands or they love a combination of fruity with musk. Because musk is a very unisex animalic note that, you know, draws people to you, basically. So any of that combination will be good. And this one is a perfect example for it. So After Sunset is great on projection, is great on longevity, is very, very bougie, dark, fruity, musky fragrance. That rose is in here as well, but to me, it just blends everything together. It's not a prominent rose note. It's just for the fragrance to blend nicely. Um, I love it. It's just so, so beautiful, guys. It's perfect for nights out, perfect for dates. Um, for everyday wear, I would say as well. I love wearing it during the day, even in the summertime, but it's the best to be worn after sunset. <laughs> okay, guys, that's all. I really, really hope you liked it. Um, for the next few videos, since we are moving and we have big boxes everywhere all over the apartment, I'll be filming in this background. I hope you don't mind. Um, this is the only spot that's quite free for me to set up. So I love you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I hope when you spray yourself with a fragrance from my list, your man will enjoy it too. So don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment below what in your opinion is the sexiest scent from the list. If you have anything and if you agree with me, I would love to know. And please follow me on Instagram and see you guys in the next video. Bye.